Hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do a video on what antenna should a person get for their GMRS two-way radio repeater. What what type of antenna should a person buy? Well, of course, there's a lot of different antennas out there, and again, it depends on how much you want to spend on price. I've seen GMRS antennas go for five hundred dollars a ten, uh, antenna. Um, and down to $80 for a antenna. Now, there's a couple things you want to kind of decide on. Do you want a directional antenna? Do you want to focus all of your transmission uh, and receiving one way? You, you, you aim the antenna the direction that you want it the most to be at? Or... Do you want a omni antenna, meaning it's equal all the way around the antenna? Um, now, there's pluses and minuses of both. Obviously, the directional type of antenna will be a little more powerful in the dB gain uh, compared to the omni directional antenna. Um, so, and the price will vary too. Um, I believe the one that I saw for 500 and some dollars was a commercial directional antenna uh, and I don't recall what the gain was on that but it was 500 and some dollars for an antenna but it was only it, it was a directional I mean that you you point the direction you point the antenna in the direction that you want your best coverage is what they when they say directional antenna that's what they mean you have to physically point that antenna and you tighten it down to the direction that you want any other like behind the antenna with the directional it'll be weaker because it's it, the antenna's facing whatever direction you want anything behind it won't come in as good um, but so, so you have to decide what you want. Most people get the autonomy uh, uh, antenna. Um, that's because it, it's, it transmits, you know, for the most part, equally 360 degrees with an antenna. Um, but the main thing is, is, obviously, is the price, what type of antenna, and how much gain the antenna has. So for an example... Let's just say we have an antenna that has a, a gain of 6. Um, and that antenna is $100. And then you find another antenna that has a gain of 7, and that's $120. Well, that one um, DB gain is not going to make that much difference. So, in that example, probably be just as good as going with a hundred dollar antenna and save the twenty bucks. Now, I got a tram here on the screen here, tram uh, fourteen uh, eighty six. Make sure the antenna is UHF. If you're going to use this for GMRS frequencies channels, you got to make sure you use the right antenna. You want it to be the UHF, and you want to make sure it does that frequency of the GMRS band. So that's very important. And a lot of them will tell you, like this right here, this particular uh, manufacturer does tell you GMRS amateur, and this will tell you how many watts the antenna can handle. That's also important if you're going to have a, an amplifier of some sort. Another thing that's important is what is the wind rating? Because some of these antennas get pretty tall. Now this one here, it gets uh, five feet and three inches tall, um, so it's not overly tall. This does a bandwidth between 406 and 512, which is good. That falls in within the GMRS range. It's got a 6.5 dBD gain, so that's good to know. So, and this antenna is $89. Uh, I think even Amazon might have this uh, for $84, I believe. But, at any rate, so that's the things you want to look at is the, if 
how tall it is, especially if you, you know, going to be installing it on some place really high, like on a tower, you want to know how tall this antenna is, how tall, how good of a wind it can handle, and how much dB gain, and the frequency. Those are the important and the wattage of the antenna. So let's recap that. You want to know how tall the antenna is. You want to know what the frequency can cover. You want to know the gain of the antenna. And you want to know how many watts the antenna can take. So, uh, and that watts is important. If you buy an antenna that can only take 20 watts and you hook a 50 watt amplifier to it, you're going to burn the antenna up. So that's why you got to kind of know um, what the wattage is. So this right here is not a bad antenna. It's got, you know, 6.5. Now, if we go with a Comet, uh, this is a, this this antenna is a little more. This is this is a good example here. This is a hundred forty dollar antenna. Uh, does the frequency range of the GMRS? It can handle wind up to one hundred and twelve miles an hour. If this has got a nine dB gain, dBi gain, which is pretty good. The length though. 10 feet and 5 inches tall. That's getting pretty tall, but not terrible. Um, what can it handle here? It can handle 200 watts of power. That's 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 good. Because uh, legally, you can only do 50 watts with the GMRS repeater or mobile or base station. You can only do 50 watts, you know, so this can handle that easily. Um, yeah, so here's a good example. Now, this antenna is $140. Nine gain, not bad. The other antenna is $89. I'm assuming there might be shipping on that. It depends on where you order it, I suppose. And this does a 6.5 gain. So, yeah, you know. That's, that's getting, yeah, it's a little bit more gain on the other antenna. Um, so I guess it depends on, you know, if there's a height that you don't want to go too high. Uh, like I said, this is a 10-foot antenna. The other one was only a 5 foot and five foot and 3 inches, so that's a smaller antenna. So it just depends on what you want. But this is just uh, kind of an example of what to look for in a GMRS base station or repeater antenna, depending on how you're using this. Um, there's other ones out there, but just check those four important things that I talked about so you know it's, you know, and, and the bit, like I said, the biggest thing is going to be the the how much DB, uh, DBI gain does that antenna have. There's no sense spending $150 on one that's, you know, 65 and there's one for 100 that's six. That little bit of difference is not going to be worth the extra money. That's what I'm basically trying to say. Um, but check on Amazon, eBay. You can look up these antennas. I know some, I think it's the ones on back order, it looks like. I believe it's, uh, was it the tram? Uh, no, I think it's the other one that's on pre-order. Yeah, pre-order. Maybe other, you know, maybe other sites may have it. You'd have to look. And also check the forums. A lot of people who buy these antennas and they have them for a while will write in them, yeah, it's a good antenna, it held up well, or no, the wind. Or So do, do your homework and kind of check um, the forums on, on you know, on uh, uh, what other people say about it. That's not a good way to kind of determine what you're going to do. Um, but at any rate, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post down below. And please subscribe. Thank you.